Hi again. So today I have part two of a pronoun lesson. Yesterday we went over the different lists of pronouns. We talked about subject pronouns, which I listed over here. Remember, subject pronouns are pronouns that would be used only in the subject of a sentence. And then we talked about object pronouns, and object pronouns are pronouns that would be only used in the predicate of the sentence. Remember, I really wish they had been named predicate pro pronouns. It would have made a lot more sense and been more clear, but you can remember that. So today, I wanna do um, something just a little bit um, off of that lesson and I want to talk about double subjects and specifically using a pronoun in a double subject. So a double subject, and in this case I'm using people, using a pronoun um, in it. So there are some rules for double subjects. So the, the number one rule when using a double subject with a pronoun in it as a person, including yourself, always place yourself second or last in the group of people that you're speaking about. It is proper manners to place yourself last and place other people before you, and therefore that is grammatically correct. Also, after that, you need to make sure that you're using the correct pronoun based on where that pronoun is located in your sentence. Because remember, you have to go back to the rules we talked about yesterday. If that pronoun is located in the subject of the sentence, you have to be choosing one of those um, pronouns. And if it happens to be in the predicate of the sentence, you've got to be choosing one of these pronouns. Um, it, it gets you're going to really discover when we talk about, and I give you some examples, and we talk about um, certain types of sentences that you consistently hear many pronouns incorrectly used, and we typically end up dismissing it as being correct because so many people misuse pronouns. All right, so let's, let's talk about an example. I'm gonna write a sentence. So me and my sister share a computer. Okay, so you can see that I included a double subject. We're talking about two people sharing a computer. So our subject would be here. I know you know where to put that slash mark, separating the subject from the predicate. That is always helpful. So, we've got a double subject. We've got two people. One of them is a pronoun. You can see that we've got a pronoun here. It is a word that's referring to myself. So if this sentence was about me, I'm talking about myself. Therefore, I've got two people. Now, did I follow my rules? So let's look at that. Number one, place yourself last. So look at your double subject, me and my sister. I did not follow rule number one. I put myself first instead of last. So your first inclination might be to change it to this. My sister and me share a computer. Now I followed rule number one. I put myself last in the list of double subject. Now go to rule number two. Use the correct pronoun based on its location in the sentence. So my pronoun here is the word me. Remember that slash mark separating the subject from the predicate was right there. So. I have to take a look at the word me and determine, did I choose the correct pronoun based on the rule? So since this is the subject of the sentence, remember, I need to use one of those pronouns. I cannot use one of those pronouns. These pronouns can only be used in the predicate. So you can clearly see that the word me 
is an object pronoun, which is a predicate pronoun. It can only be used in the predicate, but this is the subject. So I chose the wrong pronoun. So I would need to change this to the word I so that it reads, my sister and I share a computer. And now I have a correct sentence.